How you doing? Today, we're going to be talking all about clothes. Now, when it comes to clothes, honestly, growing up as an Eastern hunter, um, I didn't really give it much thought. Everything, you know, like this vest, like this uh, shirt here, was hand-me-downs from my dad or my grandpa or stuff they, you know, ran to Walmart and picked up or whatever, and it was fine and dandy because most of the time deer hunting, you're kind of just sitting stationary, and so as long as you got some good long john underwear on, you got some good thick coveralls, some good boots, you're pretty good. Um, but when it comes to Eastern, not... When it comes to Western hunting, and not just Western hunting, but any type of hunting where you're um, staying in the back country or you're uh, even turkey hunting, you're, you're running gun style hunting where you're getting wet, you're getting dirty, you're crawling, you're sitting, um, all that stuff when you're having to sleep outside back country hunting, for example, gear starts to, to come into play, in my opinion, a little bit more and, and not necessarily brand, but material is important and and you're gonna see here I'm pretty much like a, a, a first slot fanboy it's just it's just all the gear that I got I fell in love with first slot I was introduced to them by Steven Ornella years and years ago when I when I first started college actually he had like a show I think it was called the wild within uh, before he got huge with meat and everything else so I've been following him for a long time of course they always use first slot then I started watching the born and raised guys and the Hushin folks, and, 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 and so I had this like connection with First Slot, whatever. That doesn't matter. The gear, the brand doesn't matter. I chose to go with First Slot. I like their camo, and I absolutely love their products. I love the clothing, and so I'm going to take you through what I would wear, or what not what I would, what I do wear um, when it comes to my hunting apparel uh, for not only western hunting, but also here deer hunting, turkey hunting, all that stuff. Now we'll say this system is pretty much a early to mid season, uh, the beginning of later season type of setup. Now when we get into like late, cold, cold temperatures, deer hunting, this is you know I would get some um, you know cover, we'll talk about cover hauls and things and, and maybe we'll talk about that in another video. But this is like early to mid season top of clothing, and so we'll have a base layer. We'll have a mid layer, and then we'll have our, our outer, outer layer, and that's what we're going to be talking about. I'm going to show you each piece of clothing, and to help me do that, we're going to bring in my special guest. Welcome. How you doing? Good. <laughs> well, that's great to hear. You just stand over there and prance around and model, and you're going to put on the clothes that I tell you to put on, and show these fine folks uh, our system, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, then. All right. So you'll see here first I'm wearing a base layer. Now, the bottoms are merino three-quarter length zip-off long johns from First Light. Now, these are absolutely amazing. Again, this is more of like a mid-season. They make some thicker ones. And so keep in mind, you, you, you can go do your own research. This is just my system. Uh, they make tons of different styles and lengths and, you know, kinds that's rated for different temperatures, yada, yada, yada. These are, like I said, early to mid-season. Uh, absolutely love them. The zip-off is really handy when you got your boots laced up and you got your gaiters over top of them. You don't have to take all that off. You just drop your pants and then zip those puppies off if it gets warm during the day or throw them back on in the evening if it gets a little cooler or whatever have you so that, that's that's that and then also the shirt I have on is a, a merino first slot t-shirt um, and so I usually keep it on just kinda next to skin <clears throat> if I don't have that on I usually have on the kiln hoodie now sometimes I'll throw the hoodie right over top of the shirt or I'll wear it just by itself next to skin now, what's really cool about this particular hoodie it is that it has a it's a three quarter like zip, it's a zip type of uh, hoodie, so it zips way down, and that's really handy, especially when you're getting warm and hiking a lot, and all those things uh, get some airflow into the chest area there. It's uh, pretty comfortable, and so that's kind of the, the the top. Now on the bottom, talking about the next layer, we got the corrugate 
guide pants. Now these pants are by far my favorite pant that I've ever owned, especially in terms of like hiking, hunting, all that stuff. They're super, super comfortable. It's like a polyester blend or something, whatever. But anyway, super comfortable, fast drying. Um, I've literally, I've got about three pairs of these things. The first pair that I had, I've still got them. And I have literally beat those things to death. And they get little snags and, and, and little fuzzies and stuff like that sometimes, but I've never ripped them or anything like that. Um, but just love them. They're, they're thick, but they're not too thick. They're not too thin. They, again, super comfortable. I can't recommend those enough. And also with those, I got the suspenders. I got a little, a little old gut pouch, you know. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, I don't, the belt kind of aggravates me. I like the suspenders a whole lot there with those so if it gets a little colder of the mornings or if you're sleeping or the evenings uh, I have a thicker hoodie made by first slide it's called the Klamath hoodie and this is my you're gonna hear me say this a lot but this is my favorite hoodie that I've ever had I absolutely love the feel it's got like the grid kind of uh, insulation system inside super super comfortable and warm and I again I just love it absolutely love that hoodie and so there's that. There's the pants, or the base layer, the pants. Then we have the t-shirt, uh, the thinner, smaller hoodie with the key on, then the thicker hoodie. Um, and then let's move on to our feet, our feet area. So we got, first off, the darn tough socks. These are Merino socks. And let me pause right there. Merino, they're, it's like antimicrobials. And so the, they don't, it doesn't stink like typical clothing. You can wear them for days and days and days and days and days and literally they don't stink. I mean, you think I'm crazy when I say that, but I'm try it. Just test it out yourself. And so Darn Tough Socks, they also have a lifetime warranty. So the first pair I have, for example, I wore them for like three years. They finally got a hole in them. I took them back to the store, which I got them and said, hey, this happened. And they gave me a brand new pair, absolutely free. And they're awesome. Amazing, comfortable socks. Now, with the so here's the most uh, here's my most um, anticipated purchase this year. Last year my boot situation was terrible. I wore hiking boots in there and they fell apart. And um, so I came straight home, got these boots. These are the crispy Nevadas, and these are the uninsulated. I wanted to get those so I could wear them, you know, spring turkey hunting and. Uh, early to mid season, and then when I'm in a deer stand, and you know November, late November, December, I'm gonna get those Arctic Shield kind of boot cover things and put on. But that's neither here nor there. But these boots are absolutely amazing. So the whole boots, you know, protected and wrapped up. It's good quality leather. It's just I'm mean, waterproof. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. I cannot recommend these boots enough. I love them, and I'm looking forward to using them this year. And then most days I'll also have the Brambler Gators on. Now these Gators, as you can see here, are thicker. They're they're pretty tall. These are a little bit more expensive compared to the Traverse Gators that First Lock makes. But I have those as well, and they are, in my opinion, terrible. I don't like them. They don't fit very well. the The, the biggest size they make is a large, extra large, and try, them trying to fit around my calf is a nightmare it squeezes into it they ride down they're constantly kind of coming unbuttoned and I maybe I'm just doing them wrong I don't know maybe it's user error but I just I'm not a fan of them I'm thinking about them and they're kind of aggravating me more than they're doing good so I decided to go with the 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 bigger ones the thicker ones this year I think they'll be um, pr pretty pretty good I'm looking forward to them they fit good they don't have any problems with them you know squeezing my calf in half or anything so those will be over top of my boots and pants uh, most days. Now, so moving on to when it gets a little colder, uh, down in you know the 20s or 30s, when we need a little bit, uh, we need a jacket. This is the Brooks Down jacket. This jacket is like the hoodie. This is my favorite jacket that I've ever had. It's super comfortable. I will say this, there is a negative and there's a compromise. Because it's so light and it's made out of down, uh, it's it's warm, it's insulating, it smushes up into itself like a little pillow, uh, super packable, all those things. Again, like I said, comfortable, but because of that, the, it's not very thick. 
It's not very durable. If you scrape up against a tree with a snag on it, you, you could rip it. I did mine last year. Now, First Light makes like a repair tape. <clears throat> and honestly, if, if I didn't show you or didn't point it out, you probably couldn't tell it. You'll see there on my jacket, after the my arm, my right arm, I have a little piece of Gorilla Tape where I had a little tear. And so things like that don't really bug me too much. But if, you know, and... If you're someone who likes something a little bit more durable, um, then you're going to have to sacrifice obviously a little bit of weight uh, for like a thicker outer shell. But um, but again, I like this one personally. Love it. I've went through briars with it. I've, I've you know put it through the ringer as well, and it's it's held up pretty good. But like I said, if you catch it the right way, it will tear on you. So, but again, not too big of a deal. I love the comfort. It's super warm, super light. And then lastly. As far as clothing goes, I have a rain jacket. Now, this is a, uh, it's called the Vapor Rain Jacket. I use it pretty much year round, you know, in everyday life as well as hunting. I keep that in the top of my pack. If it starts raining, I can throw it on. Or a lot of times, what I'll do if it's wet on the ground, I kind of lay it out and sit on it so my butt doesn't get all wet and all all that good stuff. So that's in terms of clothing. So let's recap. We got from the ground up. We got the boots. Crispy Nevadas, we got the socks, Darn Tough, Merino, uh, base layer, we got the three quarter zip off uh, Merino base layers from First Light, super great. On top of that, we got the Corrigan Guide Pants with the suspenders, and then we got our rain jacket, we got our Brooks Down jacket, we got our thicker Klamath hoodie, we got our thinner Kiln hoodie, and then we got a, a t shirt, a Merino t shirt as a base layer, and of course, we got the old. Cap. And that's it as far as clothing. Now, lots of, of guys in our group, uh, we use different things. Some people use other first lot stuff. Where there's guys who love Kuyu. There's uh, there's some Sitka out there. Um, it, the, the, the brand doesn't matter. Uh, we are not obviously sponsored by anybody. Um, I decided to go with first lot. I really like their gear. Whatever you find, go with it you like it if it's comfortable if it works for you you like the fit all those things go for it and um, but but I will say you know clothing <clears throat> it's one of those those things where spending a little bit of extra money getting merino and getting good boots and, and getting down for example um, those are things that just add to your experience and you're not completely miserable it enables you to be comfortable in some uncomfortable circumstances and so I really like this system. I hope this helps. Hopes, hopefully it gives you some guidance um, if you're thinking about upgrading your hunting apparel this season. Well, that's going to do it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you don't care if, if this video has helped you or if you like the video, give us a thumbs up there. Comment below uh, your favorite hunting apparel system. Um, if you'd like to see us do videos about other pieces of equipment that we have, be sure to comment below and let us know. Now, it's interesting because we were looking at some analytics on our channel, and it turns out about 93.5% of all of our views comes from unsubscribed viewers. And if you're one of those folks, would really greatly appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. It really helps us and pushes our channel even further. Again, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you on the next video. Cheers.